What's up guys, Ben Milliken here back for Mystery Tackle Box. You know, I don't know about you guys, but when it, when it comes to me, I love to get up close and personal with those fish, go flip shallow cover, thick stuff, nasty stuff, because that's where the big ones hide a lot of times. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about just that, flipping a jig craw with a really, really cool new product to catch those big bass. You know, there's so many days throughout the year when you're out fishing that if you lock this big jig and craw profile in your hands and flip and pitch it at whatever covers in front of you, you're flat out going to catch more and more quality bass than everybody else that's out there throwing different things. I don't know what the reason is for that, but for whatever reason, big bass just really, really like this jig profile. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about different types of areas I like to fish this bait, uh, the different types of situations where I throw this guy over a Texas rig bait, and then we're going to get into some of the tackle uh, and different modifications you can make to uh, really spruce this guy up to catch more fish. So the great thing about a jig is there's no right or wrong place to throw it, but a flipping jig like this with a flatter head that kind of comes to a point is absolutely deadly around any type of wood cover. Beaver dams, lay downs, stumps, whatever it may be, this guy goes extremely effective through all of it. My favorite way to flip and pitch with this guy is to simply throw it into or next to whatever piece of cover, the heavier the better, let it fall straight down, shake it a few times, reel it in and repeat the process. The more times you can do that throughout the day, the better chance you're gonna put it in front of an active fish. So a question I get asked all the time is, when do you prefer to throw a jig and when do you prefer to throw a Texas rig? And the, the honest answer to that is I use them interchangeably. I use both all the time, but there's two scenarios when I, I really like a Texas rig more than a jig. The first one is cleaner water. You know, a, a Texas rig craw, say this exact craw, the saw craw here, by itself is more natural than a jig. And, and so in cleaner water, cleaner than two, three, four feet of water on up, I'm gonna wanna go with that Texas rig. I get more bites, it's more natural, it doesn't have that big uh, silicone skirt poofing out everywhere. So that's when I go with the Texas rig. The other situation I like a Texas rig more is whenever I'm fishing grass, or heavy grass especially. Something about that Texas rig, it just slides in and out of that grass a lot more quickly, more efficiently, and you can cover water a lot more effectively than you can with a jig. You know, the great thing about a jig though is a jig comes through different types of cover better horizontally I feel than a Texas rig and it just has a better presentation. For instance, if I'm fishing this riprap bank right here that has all these wood stick ups like back behind me right here, I can fish this jig at a 45 degree angle and maybe pitch it up to the bank to wherever that lay down is, but it comes down that sloping bank a lot more effectively. It stays upright the entire time. And, and to me, it, it just, it looks better when you're pulling it horizontally than a Texas rig. A Texas rig has the tendency to want to roll over. It looks more unnatural to the fish when it does that. And, and honestly, I just get better bites on a jig when I can drag it around. So let's talk about a few things I like to do to modify this bait, this jig, to catch more fish. You know, the first thing is I change the profile up almost all the time when I'm fishing a jig. I'll trim that skirt just behind the hook, and then I'll cut off uh, probably about an inch or so of that craw trailer. That gives me a nice, bulky profile, which I found to be absolutely deadly when fishing a jig. You know, another thing I like is this really innovative product I got that's exclusive to Mystery Tackle Box, uh, and that's these Big O's bands. Let me show you guys how you can use these Big O bands to make your jig skirt split apart, catch more fish, and get snagged even less. So the way it works is you take this band and you put it all the way over your weed guard. You just take it all the way down to the bottom, right up against the jig hook. And then you're gonna split these two guys right here, right down the middle. You wanna get half and half split like they are right there. You're gonna grab the part that's back behind the brush guard. You're just gonna pull that over the head. And boom, that guy's good to go. That way it spreads this out, and that's awesome because, you know, just like some of the other really thick grass punching jigs on the market, like the Medlock jig and stuff, this will cause this to the jig to deflect uh, and keep any type of little sticks that this guy could roll over and snag on if it had this super stout jig guard. Plus, it, it spreads out that jig guard, so once that fish bites it, it's a lot easier to collapse. You don't have a super stiff brush guard on there. I, I really, really like this product. So get out there on the lake this spring, summer, fall, 
throw this guy into the thickest, nastiest stuff you can find. You know, use those modifications, trim this guy up, make it a nice compact profile, split that weed guard apart just like that, and you're gonna fish so much more effectively in and out of that heavy cover, and you're gonna catch a lot of fish doing it. Thanks a ton for watching, guys. I'm out of here.